Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup look for you guys. So first I already did my foundation and my eyebrows. For my foundation, I used my holy grail, my all time favorite, the Revlon Photo Ready in the shade 005, which is natural beige. I just love this foundation. It's my all time favorite. To prime my eyes, I used the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer and I just put this on both of my eyelids all the way up past my crease because we are going to be applying quite a bit of eyeshadow today so I just applied a good amount of this to both of my eyes. And then one of my all-time favorite tricks for a nice crisp line is I just take some regular scotch tape, first taking off the first layer of stickiness so I don't, you know, destroy my eyelids. Um, and I just kind of put that on the outer part of my eye. So when we apply the eyeshadow there and then remove the tape, we will have a nice crisp line. So I did this for both of my eyes. And the very first eyeshadow that I'm gonna be using is actually this bronzer. This is like one of my all-time favorite bronzers to use as an eyeshadow. It's a really nice warm transition color. It's just perfect especially if you're doing a smoky eye. I love it so much. It is by Avon and to put it in my crease I am using the deluxe crease brush by Real Techniques and I'm just going to get a good amount of that on there tap off the excess and then put it right in the very very crease of my eye to make sure that I'm getting that really nice warm color just in the crease area. Don't worry about getting it on your lid just really kind of focus it on the crease. And then again, duplicating that on the other eye as well. So you kind of have a finishing outcome looking something like this. Then to move on to the eyelid color, I'm using my 18 color Galaxy Chic Palette by BH Cosmetics. Absolutely love this palette. I did a review on it forever ago and I still love it. I'm gonna be using this shade right here called Mercury and I'm gonna be taking my MAC Fix Plus Spray and spraying a good amount of this on my brush. What this does is it just makes the eyeshadow a little more pigment pigmented and <laughs> a little bit more wet. So it makes it really kind of stand out on the eyelid. So I put a good amount of that on both of my eyelids and it really just makes my eyes super, super sparkly and really shiny. I'm not a huge fan of shimmery eyeshadows, but when I do this smoky eye, I really, really like it. So I did that for, again, both of my eyelids. good tip for when you're applying eyeshadows like this is work on packing in the color instead of swiping it across your eyelid. It'll really help when you pack it all in there. Then I just went in and I touched up the crease color and now we're going to add some depth and definition. For that I am using this eyeshadow by Madame Glam. It is in this really unique kind of applicator bottle. This is in the shade Black Tie and I'm going to be using this on the outer parts of my eyes. There is quite a bit of fallout with this eyeshadow so make sure you have a Kleenex or something that's going to catch anything that's going to fall. And I just kind of glop it on looks kind of sloppy right now I know but I just kind of put this on the outer part of my eyes and then we are going to be blending it out but make sure you kind of have an even amount on both eyes to start out with first and then to blend that out, I'm going to be using the Airbrush Crease Brush by Sephora. This is my all-time favorite brush to blend eyeshadows out on my outer V. And this eyeshadow blends like a dream. I absolutely love the way these eyeshadows blend. They're just amazing. So I'm kind of bringing that onto my eyelid a little bit and then into my crease, but not going above that warm brown color that we applied first. So I'm just gonna be kind of, really kind of buffing and blending this in until it is at the point where I like it. Then I'm going in with my Take Me To Brazil palette by, again, BH Cosmetics, and I'm taking this matte black shade, and on that same crease brush that we used before by Sephora, I'm taking a little bit of that, and I'm going back in the very, very outer corner and very, very outer crease area to really kind of darken up that um, black area that we applied before, just to make it really super smoky and really kind of sultry and dark. And then I went back in with that same kind of shimmery color that we used before in the other BH Cosmetics palette and touched up the eyeshadow there. For some liquid eyeliner, I used a cream eyeliner today by e.l.f. and just did a regular standard wing all the way out. Then I removed the tape and touched up with some concealer. Now for the bottom part of the eye, I'm going to be using this eyeliner by L'Oreal. I think it is called Silk Shine, and this is in the color Charcoal. And this is where we are really going to kind of pack on 
the eyeliner. I know it looks really kind of scary and ugly and gross at first, but I promise there's a point. Then I'm gonna be taking the Urban Decay 24 seven blending brush and I'm gonna be really kind of blending out and smoking out that bottom lash line as best as we can. And it looks really kind of freaky and I look like a raccoon. But really what we're going to do now is make a double wing on the bottom. So I'm taking this kind of pointed eyeshadow brush and as you can see here, I'm just taking my eyelid, pulling it taut a little bit, and I'm taking that eyeliner that we buffed out and I'm dragging it outward to make an outer wing. This is how I love doing my eyeshadow lately. I'm just, I am obsessed. So now I'm just taking some eyelash curlers and I just applied some mascara to my top and bottom lashes like always. Now to get started on lips. First, I kind of overdrew them with just a natural colored lip liner by Avon. I usually always, always overdraw and outline my lips with an eyeliner. I just love it. And then I'm using a new lipstick by Wet n Wild, which I'm obsessed with in the color Mocha Licious. It is a gorgeous brown lipstick and I have just been loving it. So I apply this, do some cleanup, and the whole entire look is finished. Okay, so here's what the whole looks like finished up. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!